Good evening and thank you for being with us. I'm Jennifer Bellamy. And I'm Ron Jones. And Jennifer, as you know, we are seeking solutions when it comes to the vaccine. Over the next half hour, we will bring you stories about the COVID-19 vaccine, its distribution here in Georgia, and the distrust many have with it. And we're going to begin tonight with a message from Governor Brian Kemp to the federal government. We are ready for more vaccines. He says Georgia has the staff and clinics in place to make it happen. Reveal investigator Rebecca Lynchdom says that's good news because our state still lags behind most in getting the vaccine to those in need. Every state has a different population, so it's probably better to compare rates. According to the CDC, 45 states are doing a better job at getting the vaccine into the arms than Georgia. The states faring worse are Mississippi, Tennessee, Texas, and Alabama. Now that said, the state is making improvements, and according to the governor Monday morning, we've used 89% of our current supply. The state has now launched four new mass vaccination sites, and it is pushing its website to help people register. That's going to help us get the vaccine out of the freezer and into arms faster, which is good news because for the first time in weeks, Georgia will have more vaccine to give. After the state received its initial batch of vaccine in mid-December, the weekly allotment dropped to a low of 120,000 doses per week. It is only now, nearly two months later, that the number of doses has started to rise again. This week, we are expecting about 200,000 shots. As supply expands over the coming months, we will be able to increase capacity at these four initial sites, shift resources to other communities as needed, and stand up new locations to reach more Georgians. It's no surprise. The highest number of vaccine have been delivered to metro counties, those with the greatest population. But Gwinnett, the second most populated county, has not kept pace with Cobb and Fulton. And when you look at the demographics, just who is getting the shot, we have some work to do there as well to build confidence. Only 11% of the vaccine shots have gone to people who are black, less than 1% to those of Hispanic or Latino descent. Even with the boost in vaccine this week, it's going to be a slow road. Two months after that first shot was given, and we have only fully vaccinated about 6% of our state's population.